So here's how we would add a new search engine to the web lookup tool. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here where I can click on settings at the bottom. When I do that, it brings up this window and you can see that in here I have some spaces where I can add some new, some new search engines. So to do that, I click on the guide and I just follow the instructions. So the first thing it says is go to your favorite web resource and search for this phrase, web lookup. So I'll just copy web lookup and then I'm gonna drag down so you can see it into this window the search engine that I'm going to use for this demonstration. So I paste web lookup into there and I look it up. And then that gives me a URL across the top here. And all I'm gonna do now is copy that URL. So now I'm going to close that because I don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna paste the URL from the address bar that I've just copied like that. Now it then gives me a lot more information down the bottom here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the first one. There is a bit of help here and you can play with that to get information related to languages. I get the feeling that this particular site is only in English. So I'm just going to take this top one because I think it might not find anything otherwise. Um, down here, this could be a plus or it could be um, the percentage 20. I'm going to use the plus. So if it said something different in there for you, um, I'm going to change it to plus and I'm going to come back to here again and in here I'm going to paste in what I just copied in here I'm going to add the plus so you see the default is probably percentage 20 um, I'm just going to make that a plus and here I'm going to give this a name and this is going to be um, English synonym finder and I click OK. So that's added it to here. So what I'm going to do, in fact, I've already done the search, but I'll just go for that. I'll look for the word abundant. So I'll right click to a web lookup. So go away and do the web lookup. It's used Google because that's where I was. But if I now click on English Synonym Finder, it's done the lookup in the search engine, which is exactly what you were looking for. Hopefully that makes it clear and will help you see how to configure that for the engine that you're looking for.